how many parents have to hide specific snacks, cereal, ooze the noodles, like you know, especially cereal, you know that if you put that stuff in your kitchen, that stuff ain't going to last a day. I've been doing this since I had kids. I got five kids. And through the course of raising all five of these suckers, I always keep the, should I say, fast going food in my room. I'm surprised I ain't had to put a lock on my door with this house. But usually all the other places I ever live, I used to have to chain my door down to keep them from going through food. Some foods you know not to buy because you know it ain't going to last. That's why I buy food that you got to cook. Because if they see the food they got to cook, even if they know how to cook it, they too lazy to cook it. So, I make like a little spot in my, yeah, this is a turkey sandwich. But I make a little spot in the corner of my room or the closet or even my refrigerator to hold certain things that I know they will run through. And I just stack it all. And even then, since I ain't got no lock on my door, I come back and you see fucking... Cereal boxes opened out of order. Like, stick with one box at a time, boy. Why is you going through every box? We got to fucking, we got to budget this shit, man. Ain't nobody got time to keep going to the store because y'all want to run through everything that you see in this house. <laughs> some kids be thinking money grow on trees. And some families, some kids think food stamps grow on trees. Just because you might get food stamps don't mean them food stamps go too far. You even got to budget the mother sucking food stamps, shawty. Even though I don't get none of that shit. Shit, ever since I started driving trucks, all that shit cut out because you make too much money to get any of that. So I'm spending cash money, dog, on food. So y'all mother suckers stop running through this shit like money growing goddamn trees. <laughs>